Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Go. So, you know, there's a Butterfree here. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? Alright. Let's catch this thing. Alright, not the best throw in the world, but Butterfree, you want to stay in the ball? There we go! Alright, so with that, we got ourselves a Butterfree. Alright. All the Caterpie candy. <laughs> Alright. I will take it. Butterfree is a pretty cool Pokemon. As far as bugs go, can't complain. Had a lot of use for it over the years in Brock's gym, so, you know. Cool Pokemon. Alright, so we got a new event going on here. It is called Hoopa's Arrival, and it has a collection challenge involving a lot of, it looks like, dark ghosts and psychic types. So that's pretty cool, and it looks like we get, like, a pose. So I dare not to. We do need you, so... Alright, I need to get... Better at throwing. Well, I need to get good. Alright, great. This is pretty much a guaranteed catch, which is why it kind of sucks I waste a couple balls, but with that, we got ourselves an Otto. Not to complain, but we still got a ways to go. But hey, didn't be too bad. Oh, I think they're Beldum. Casual pseudo legendary be oh mini pseudo legendary shows up. <laughs> All right, come on, there we go. All right, so with that we got ourselves a Beldum. Cool. So that's two steps toward our goal. I'd say that's progress. This should be an interesting day. Alright, so... I'm thinking we're gonna have to use an incense. We do have to for the research anyway, so here we go. Alright, so we're gonna get another incense. Cool. Getting some Pokeballs. Nana Berries. Alright. Getting some Stardust, Experience, and our encounter is... Gothita! Okay. Fair enough. You want to stay in the ball, Gothita? There we go! Alright, so with that, we got ourselves a Gothita. Cool. As with all great mysteries, solving this will take time, patience, and trust. I'll need the only to work alone at some points, but I promise I'll return to share more findings with you. You just keep exploring the world as you always do. You never know what you might find. I'll report back here once I have more information about Koopa. Thanks in advance for your help. Okay. So we're getting some stardust and experience. Hey there, it's so good to see you again. Have you managed to spot Hoopa anywhere? Although some think of Hoopa as a mischievous troublemaker, really all it wants is to have fun. Speaking of fun, it seems Hoopa had a blast filling up the mo um, my mobile lab with pineapple berries. Maybe it thought of me happily digging into some during lunch and decided to have a few, um, I could have, use a few more. It was a bit of a surprise when I opened the lab door and piles of pineapple berries poured out. It took a while to clean everything out, but my lab did smell amazing afterwards, it wasn't all that bad. It was nice having an excuse to clean. Not to mention, I have enough pineapple berries to last them for days now. I might even make some jam. Anyway, Hoopa Short has uh, seemed a lot friendlier these days, hasn't it? I think it's been having lots of fun interacting with us. Maybe it's been, um, that's why it's been bringing so many surprises. Who knows? We might be able to catch it now! So we gotta make five curveball throws, catch ten different species, and gotta get Stardust. Okay. 
I get a giraffe rig. Well, let's go catch a giraffe and a half. Let's go. All right, we got an excellent throw right there. Come on, you want to stay in the ball? There we go. All right, so with that, we got ourselves a giraffe rig. Not gonna lie, I actually, I actually really like that uh, giraffe rig. Pretty cool Pokemon. Hey there, Espeon. I'm guessing you're a rare spawn, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see you come in from an incense. Alright, you want to stay in the ball? There we go. Alright, saving the effort of walking 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers, whatever it is with Eevee. For that, we got ourselves an Espeon. Espeon's probably my second favorite evolution. Oh my goodness, another Espeon? Back to back Espeon spawns. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna catch you. As I said, Espeon is my second favorite evolution. Top three, Sylveon, Espeon, and Flareon. Not a lot of people don't like Flareon, but I don't know. It just looks so much like Eevee that I kinda like it. But with that we got ourselves. Another Espeon. That's pretty cool. What are the odds? Two in a row. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I have some evolution items I want to use up, so might as well do some evolutions right now. So why don't we evolve Porygon? There we go. So, here we go. We got another Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is definitely one of my all-time favorite uh, middle evolutions. It's just, it's such a good Eevee Elite user. It's good offensively, it's good defensively. You know what? Get a Porygon Z here. Because honestly, you go bulk isn't quite as important, I don't think, as offensive. Uh, well, as being offensive. Especially there's no EV light. And, ooh, okay, 2049. This is actually perfect for Ultra League. That is actually perfect. All right. You know, let's evolve you too. There we go. Alright, so we got another Porygon too. That's pretty cool. Let's evolve you. Might as well get another Tangrowth. Because you have really good stats. You have a pretty good CP. <laughs> Alright, so with that we've got ourselves a Tangrowth. Although, it misses Ultra League, which I guess kind of sucks, but I guess it could be good in, like, raids. <laughs> Maybe it has potential for Master League? I don't know. Alright, you know what? Let's evolve you.
All right, let's get an Ambiton. There we go. I've got no reason to hoard all these uh, Sinnoh stones. <laughs> all right. All right, so with that, we got ourselves an Ambiton. All right. I'll take it. Okay, so we've done a lot of uh, hatching Pokemon. First of all, we can get this free incense here. Now we've freed up some space. All right. So, misunderstood mischief. Pokeballs, Great Balls, Max Revives, Stardust, Experience, and our Encounter. Poopa appeared! In its confined form, of course. Alright. Let's go catch Hoopa. Silver Pineapple to get all the candy. on. There we go. Kind of funny uh, seeing Hoopa this early on in the research, though. But with that, we got ourselves a Hoopa. <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right. And with that, we completed the collection challenge. All of those psychic dark and ghost Pokemon, including Hoopa. Wow, I can't believe you caught Hoopa! Normally, I'd say we're done with our research, but I wouldn't be surprised if Hoopa continued to cause mischief. Hmm. It seems there's still much for us to learn about this Pokemon. Yes, there is. By the way, I've noticed that some psychic Pokemon have been appearing around my lab. Could Hoopa's presence be the cause? Good question. Perhaps we'll be able to use this as an opportunity to research psychic-type Pokemon, including Hoopa. I'll have to investigate this phenomenon further, and I'll let you know when I've learned some more. Until next time! Alright, fair enough. So, Professor Will is currently performing an investigation regarding the research. Check back for more details soon. Okay. Fair enough. More details coming soon. But we completed Hoopa's arrival uh, collection challenge. So with that, we're getting some Hoopa candy, a pose, Pokeball lift, and... Oh, I guess it's... Oh, that must be it with the clothes, too, because they eat... You get both the male and the female one, so they don't have to distinguish for the player which gender they are. Wow. Now everything makes sense in my life. Well, on that note, we have captured the mythical Pokemon, Hoopa. And with that, that is Hoopa's arrival. So... Thank you for watching, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Go. Goodbye.